This is the Earl Boyd's architecture in roughly two minutes. Web page, cowboy WebSocket handler, what I'm calling an animation controller for lack of a better term, supervisor, it's simple one for one, starts a bunch of Boyd's processes, and then we have a buffer and we have a heat map. This is the buffer, this is the heat map, and we have a shape module. I'm just drawing that as a different shape so you know it's not a process. And the first thing that happens, we get a start command to the uh, controller, which starts up the heat map, starts up the buffer, tells the supervisor to start up a bunch of Boyds, and the Boyds then send back their PIDs to the animation controller, but that's superfluous because the supervisor could do that. And then each of these Boyds has a timer of its own, and when they all tick off, they send themselves to the buffer by first going to the heat map, finding out how much heat is around them, deciding where they want to go, and then uh, moving themselves. They send themselves their new drawing command to the buffer, and then send themselves to the heat map so the heat map can draw themselves. Then the heat map, or sorry, the buffer also has a timer, and it grabs, it clears itself out after every tick, and then receives new voids, sends those to the AC, sends them to the WebSocket handler, which sends them to the web page, which clears and redraws the voids canvas. Then the heat map gets, there's a timer on the anime controller that tells the heat map to render itself. So the voids have been telling them the heat map where they are and it will uh, calculate all the cumulative heat and then dissipate it on every tick. I think it has its own dissipate tick and then draws those back to the, or sends that back to the animation controller, sends it up to the WebSocket and the web page will uh, clear and redraw the heat map. Then there's also settings that can come down. So you can change the settings at the bottom of the web page, send it to the WebSocket controller, uh, then it'll send it to the animation controller and it just broadcasts it to everybody. And they can ignore any settings they don't care about it also sends it to the, um, there's an environment variable for the um, cycle time, and it will update that. That's the, um, the Earl Boyd's um, architecture in roughly two minutes.